Hello friends. So in the previous video, I had given you general information and the, the need for registration type of exam about IELTS. Now in this video, we are going to understand the exam structure and how should you prepare the material which I used to prepare. And I'll also share some of the material uh, with you also in the video description. So have a look at that. So in the general information, I have already shared the monetary part, payments and all. When should you start preparing? and the ILTS Academy exam, which you need to do. Now in the pre-test task, you need to understand about the exam structure and the preparation. So there are four parts. The first is the reading, second is listening, third is speaking, and the fourth is writing. The listening will be conducted on a separate day. So you understand, uh, when you register, you will um, register for the date of reading, speaking, and writing. The listening day will be selected by the agency. So it could be, uh, the exam day uh, three days uh, so one to three days before the exam or one to three days uh, after your exam for reading speaking and writing so there are four listening passages sorry the speaking is different uh, reading listening and writing yeah the speaking is different on that separate day reading listening and writing are on a same same day so you select date for reading listening and writing the speaking will be selected by the agency so there are four listening passages, three reading parts, two writing sections, and three to four questions for speaking. And let's understand the information about reading. So there are three reading passages, as I said earlier, and you will have 40 questions in total from three reading passages, and you'll have around 60 minutes. So this exam is not time bound. You can have, take your time. You may take some more time in reading. You may take some less time in writing. So it depends on you. It is completely fine. But there is some upper limit in each of the section. So that's how. But 60 minutes is approx. You can take 50 minutes or you can take 70 minutes also to complete your reading passage. The reading passage are really very simple. You will get almost all the answers exactly written in your reading passage. So it's really easy. There are two and two uh, yes or no or true false type of questions, filling the blank type of questions. And these are very simple. Sometimes you may find match the column also. And the source will be official book which you get. So once you are done with registering for the date and you have done the payment, uh, you will receive an official book of the latest questions which has four practice tests. And it has answers also. So use that book to prepare. For the listening part, there are four conversations or lectures. So conversation could be between friends, uh, family members, relatives, or a professor and a student. Lecture could be uh, as some information said by some person, a friend, or a professor. There would be 40 questions in total. And the, in listening section, you will hear the recording only once. And you will have 30 minutes to answer the question. 30 is approximate number of the amount of time. It can be some less and some more. That is flexible. But you will not hear the the you cannot pause or you cannot hear the recording as much as many times you want. It is restricted by the agency. So it's better when you are listening. Uh, so before you start listening to the to the quest uh, to the conversation or lecture, you should go through the questions first, then listen. And while you are listening, uh, if you can't remember the answers, you should write a part of your answers. If it's a name, if it's an address, it's a phone number, something. So yeah, there are phone numbers also. There are addresses in course also. Ask in questions in the blanks for the listening part. So at that same time, when you are listening, you should note down. So you should take have a pencil with you to note down in a rough paper. You will have a rough paper over there. So it's completely fine. But you should take pencil with you. And source will be, again, the official book which you get. For the speaking, uh, uh, you may be asked something about your yourself, your locality, some information about current topics, any happenings around the world, some history of your location, etc. And there are very, really very simple. It's just a conversation between you and the interviewer. There could be three or four questions and you will be having some 17 minutes to answer. So it would be a, a in-person interview or conversation if you are taking a paper-based test. And if you are taking a, 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 a computer-based test, then it will be uh, the uh, the listening uh, speaking part will be on a Zoom call. 
and the source will again be the official book which you get after registration the writing part so it's analytical writing either you will be given to uh, two plans of your house or something so you need to compare what's the difference and also it's really easy either you may be given some pie chart or something to compare so it's basically 250 words and 350 words of essay it's very simple very short you need to be very simple in writing do not use very uh, hard vocabulary while writing so and there are two tasks just two writings in 60 minutes so in 60 minutes if you are preparing to write answers for gre uh, you may be writing some 500 words to 600 words in 30 minutes for each of your idea uh, issue based and uh, the uh, situation based so you may be having a practice to write around 1000 to 1200 words in 60 minutes but over here they are not required i made a mistake like that but to make sure uh, write concise and short do not write too much they say uh, around 250 words and 150 words uh, accordingly for the two tasks so write accordingly only and the source for the practice would be again the official book only i'm saying official book only there are four practice tests and four practice tests are really very enough you do not need so much preparation just a couple of days to one week is more than enough to create a very good score really i'm saying a very good score can be kept can be achieved in just a couple of days of preparation so do not get tense about ilts or topic the general scores and cutoff files so there are nine bands so it's not scoring like marks it is like bands and nine bands for each section of reading listening speaking and writing and so that are maximum nine bands so you will they'll average your bands again to get the final score but each of the section has nine bands okay and again the speaking score is really important for your teaching assistant position so if you want to apply for ta uh, at the higher at the, your graduate schools you need uh, at least i think 7.5 or 8 bands in your speaking section target should be 9 bands only because as i said it's very simple the vocabulary is very easy you will not be tested for vocabulary it's just simple synonyms antonyms grammar uh, punctuation and all so it's quite easy to get nine bits i got 7.5 with a two days of preparation simply just two days of preparation and four practice days which i got from the office book that's all i did and the usual cutoff would be a maximum of 6.5 bits for each section so usually when you check for the university websites uh, it will be explicitly explicitly mentioned that the reading score should be minimum 5.5 band or 6 band similarly for listening speaking and writing they will mention the individual scores minimum scores so the minimum could be could be the maximum 6.5 i have not seen a university needing seven minimum seven score seven band in reading or seven band in listening it's not required so uh, you getting seven bands is safe very safe 7 7.5 is very safe and you get it within other preparation of two days that's all you need so do not get tense and uh, let me give you another information the english test exams are taken or the scores are used as eligibility for your application it's not uh, giving you any preference so if you if you have a higher score it does not mean that you are having higher chance of for your admission they are just using this exam scores as eligibility so if they say the minimum requirement is seven you getting seven seven point five eight nine doesn't matter they are all the same okay i think that is clear to you and in the next uh, thing is to post test task which are very simple if you do not consider your score to be good you can take retest but i will say prepare safe so you save some money that fifteen thousand is a huge and you may need to contact university to clarify about some things where to send scores and all and then sending scores so you can again log into idp ielts and uh, log in and select the university you want to send score pay and you will get uh, and the score will be sent to the university you enter test dates and registration thing so uh, it's a big thing to decide between taking a paper-based and computer-based test and we'll discuss about the props and cons in the next video. Thank you. If you have any queries, do connect with me uh, via comment and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.